Hello and welcome to uh, Vinyl Update Wednesdays. Every Wednesday I want to talk about albums that I particularly like. Um, this week I'll be talking about this album, which was released um, in November of 2018. And uh, I could have talked about it then, but I really wanted to make 2020 the year in which I try to give it up, give it my all. <laughs> so um, I'm going to talk about this one in a bit. I'm a huge Harry Nielsen fan. I adore his music. Um, I was really, really excited about this Lost and Found release. Um, I, I was unaware of a lot of the uh, um, recordings, so it was really fresh to me when I listened to it, and um, it's it's really really good. Um, it's it's along the lines of uh, you know Nielsen Schmielsen. So, uh, but I'd like to talk about a little bit about his previous records. I'm, I have a lot of his other records. I can't find my copy of Aerial Ballet for some reason, but um, I'm just gonna hold up a few records and talk about them. Uh, this one. This one's okay. Um, it's not my favorite, but if you really want to play some classic <laughs> top songs from the you know 30s and 40s or earlier, I have no idea, but um, this. This is great. This is really fun stuff. Too Many Rivers, some Subterranean Homesick Blues. They did a cover of, uh, you know, uh, Bob Dylan. All My Life is kind of like the theme song to this album. If this album had one particular song that was gonna wrap up what was happening between these two, John Lennon and Harry Nielsen. Also, this is a terrible thing, but uh, there's a D over here and an S over here, and there's a rug in the middle, which means drugs. Nielsen Smilsons. Ooh, hoo, hoo, this is good stuff right here. Uh, this is the uh, secret. Oh, not secret. This is the Popeye song. The Popeye demo is by Harry Nielsen. Pretty cool stuff. This has to be uh, my favorite album by Harry Nielsen, and he didn't even write any of these songs. Um, Randy Newman did it. Son of Dracula. This was a uh, the album to the film. Um, the film's pretty bad, but the music's great. Do it on Monday. I don't know. That seems to be kind of like a Harry Nielsen theme. Uh, I have to do something. I think I'll wait till Monday to do it. Well, this album is pretty interesting. Uh, <laughs> that's the way it is. Um, He's reading a penthouse. Oh, wow. Watching channel 76. Pandemonium Shadow Show. It's his first album. It's, it's great. You should listen to it. The Point. For some reason, I can't find... Well, yeah, this is great. The Point is great. But I can't find my copy of Aerial Ballet. So... On to Lost and Found. Lost and Found. I um, was really excited about the release of this. Um, hearing, I had never heard any of the songs for the most part. I didn't know any of these songs. I had no idea that he was making demos with this guy named Mark Hudson. Um, I was totally surprised that this that came out. Um, Although I'm a huge Harry Nielsen fan, I had no idea that these demos existed. Apparently, you can go on YouTube and listen to all these songs without all the extra production that's on this album. Um, they did a really good job at making it sound fresh and new and modern to the, the best degree that a Harry Nielsen song can sound modern. Um, it kicks off with the best song on the album, the creme de la creme, the 
the most interesting song on here is called Lost and Found. And it is... great. Um, it's a pop song. Um, it has, it's, uh, it's just good. Um, woman, oh woman. Um, I really like the song. I think it's a good song. It had to grow on me a bit. Um, but I, I think it's, uh, you know, it's not as good as lost and found, but it's, it's in there. It, it's a good, it works well with the rest of the album. Um, UCLA is like a little surprise song. Like, uh, um, he makes references to the Beatles and I'm not sure what, exactly what he's talking about a good majority of the time, but because he's using a innuendo and of some kind, <laughs> but, uh, it's called UCLA, so I don't know. But he re makes references to um, Penny Lane and Yesterday, and he, when he says Penny Lane, you hear the trumpet sound like Penny Lane does. And when he says uh, um, Yesterday, uh, you hear like a little melody line that's Will She Have to Go, which is kind of like a, a part of Yesterday, the song by Paul McCartney. Um, um, high Heel Sneakers slash Rescue Boy Medley. Um, this song <laughs> is, he, apparently, uh, High Heel Sneakers was a hit song at one point in the past. And Harry Nielsen liked this song so much that he was just hammering it out on, on some keyboard and Mark Hudson was there and they recorded it and it, he changed the lyrics around to being the song about Rescue Boy which is a um, character that uh, he invented to help him get motivated to write songs um, Lullaby is like uh, a um, uh, a throwback to uh, Cowboy, which was, I forget which on, if it was on uh, Aerial Ballet or Pandemonium, Pandemonium Shadow Show, but it's kind of like that song, but, um, you know, new, and uh, you've had a buckaroo day, <laughs> he says in there. Um, Animal Farm. This one, I'm... I'm I like it. It's, it's grown on me. When I first heard it, I was like, you know, he's talking about roosters, and it's just, it's literally about an animal farm. There's no, um, maybe there is. Maybe there is. Maybe he's making some sort of poetic comment on, on the world, like we live, <laughs> the world is an animal farm. But if, it sounds pretty straightforward. Um, it's kind of bluesy, um, not totally bluesy, but um, it's got that, uh, kind of do it on Monday feel to it a bit. Um, listen, the snow is falling. Apparently he made a song with Yoko Ono and, uh, it's pretty good. It, it's, 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 uh, yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> uh, try. Try is the song that uh, has, it's it's basically two songs in one song, um, and, but creating a third song, which is called Try. First song, it's Love by the Beatles, and then the second song is uh, something off Sar Sgt. Pepper. I can't even remember it right now. Um, Love is the Answer. Uh, this is probably my least favorite song on the album. Um, let's move on. Uh, Yo Dodger Blue. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Yo Dodger Blue. This is probably my second least favorite song on the album. Maybe even first. Maybe the last two have been, or a tie for least favorite song. 
Um, it's it's a bit of a kind of a rocker, um, a chanter. Um, I guess he was trying to write a song for the L.A. Dodgers. Um, and the last song, What Does a Woman See in a Man? This song was written by um, Jimmy Webb. There it is. <laughs> he really liked this song by Jimmy Webb called What Does a Woman See in a Man? And it, it, the lyrics are absolutely hilarious. Um, the melody is, is gorgeous. Um, it's just the kind of song that, that uh, grows on you. Um, I, find, I found myself singing it to myself, um, you know, on and off for a few days after I listened to it for the first time. Um, I would give this album... I had to rate it I would say it's an 8 a good 8 a strong 8 um, the reason it's not a 9 because I don't know I don't really like two of the songs so there's one, five, there's 11 songs on here so I'm giving it two dinks two dinks so I'm bringing it down to an eight. Um, yeah. See you next time. On vinyl update talk time.